I've, I've talked to a lot of uh, great leaders. Uh, there's just not many people like Elon that would push for Starship. Where when they're already when they're as already far ahead. A very successful company. Yeah. Uh, sort of everyone doubted that it could be a successful company. It was so close to bankruptcy and failing. And then to take it into a financially viable, successful company. And just when you do, you take on a project that again risks everything. <laughs> When he already did this with Falcon 1 to Falcon 9. Like literally people were like, what are you doing? They basically signed over and were fully ramping up Falcon 9. By the time they finally had their first Falcon 1 success, they had one more flight. They only flew Falcon 1 successfully twice. They flew it five times altogether. The fourth one was successful and they flew one more time. And the anyone else out there would have been like, let's keep flying the Falcon 1. We have a working rocket. We can start, you know, making money and profiting. And already he was risking it all and saying, nope, we're going from Falcon 1 to Falcon 9. It was a huge, huge leap. You know, it was at, I think it's at least as big as, as a leap from Falcon 1 to 9 as it is from Falcon 9 to Starship or around relatively a similar leap. So it's just that same thing again. People are going, why are you leaping into this insane program and system and risk when you have such a, you know, you finally have this workhorse of a rocket that's so dominant in the industry, yet they're going... 10x, you know, 